Hello guys, this is Elson Paradili from www.techonarena.com and today I am going to teach you how you can unlock all the locked ESI files of HTTP injector. Using this method you can also unblock the root blocked ESI files. So using this method you can create your own HTTP injector ESI file and use it for a lifetime. So this is cool tricks so let's get started first you need a rooted android device and it must have super su installed and you must have grant the permission for expose installer uh, that is you need to install expose installer as well so the file will be in the description below you can download it from there so expose installer must be activated uh, you need to flash the file through the recovery mode and the latest version of http injector is also needed that is 4.2.371 build version so let's try importing some config file which are blocked by a creator on rooted device and everything is locked in the setting so here you can see rooted device are not allowed and you need to contact to the config author to get access so when you get problem like this so this video will help you to solve your problem so now you need to install the application called ESI opener that is 0.4.5 download it from the link given in the description below do not open the app just click on done and expose module will detect it and just enable it on module section now you need to go to the framework section and click on three dot to open the menu and just reboot your device after rebooting your device i will be back okay So my device is re rebooted. Okay, guys. Now open the ESI Opener application and get the instruction how to unlock the ESI file. So here it says that long press on the start button on HTTP injector. So just close it. Close all the background apps, including HTTP injector and now go to http injector and import that locked files and let's see what happens go to import import config internal storage and search for your esi files I think I have downloaded using UC downloads. Okay, there is vjar.esi and it shows successfully imported. So created by Rajiv Gautam. So guys, let's click long press on start button and let's see. So here we can get the SHS server, username, password, remote proxy server, and even payload. Now using this information, we can create our own ESI file. So it was made from fastsss.com server so we can go to fastsss.com and create a new account and register for uh, a new ESI file then we can use with a high internet speed for a lifetime so guys let's check with another files created by Azaz Khan in .esi. so let's check him so here you can see created by Ajaz Khan don't ask for method and so yeah we can check the it was also made from fastsh.com and remote proxy just screenshot it and keep for a future use so guys this was the tutorial if you guys like my video don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you